let's get started on Chapter 14, Creating and Managing Active Directory Users and Computers. In this chapter, we will look at Active Directory objects, specifically user and computer objects. We will look at creating user accounts, managing user accounts, and modifying multiple user accounts. We will look at creating computer accounts and jo joining a computer to a domain. So let's start out with Active Directory. As you know, Active Directory is a database of objects. And an object is defined as a record in the Active Directory database. You have user objects, computer objects, group, printer, and organizational unit objects. In this chapter, we are going to focus on user and computer objects. So let's start out with creating user objects. Why would you create a new user object or a new user account? And the reason you would create a new user account is because you hired a new employee and you wanted that person to be able to log on. There are several methods of creating user accounts. You can use Active Directory Users and Computers or you can use the Active Directory Administrative Center. You can use the command line or PowerShell. You can create a batch file or you can use a template. Let's start out with creating user accounts using Active Directory users and computers. And this can be a little confusing because what we're going to do is we're going to create Active Directory users. And the program that we're going to use to create users is called Active Directory Users and Computers. So to get to that program, we go to Server Manager, and we click on Tools, and we select Active Directory Users and Computers. And there we have Active Directory Users and Computers for ccbcmd.edu. And if I click on Users, you can see that by default, an administrator account has already been created. To create a new user, I right-click on Users, select New, and then click on user. I will give the user a first name such as John and a last name such as Smith and then I will give the user a login name typically the first letter of the first name followed by the last name in this case it would be J Smith. Click on next. I give him a password, I confirm the password, click on next, click on finish and now you can see I have created the new user called John Smith. To examine that user account, we right click on John Smith's account and we select properties. Under general, we can see that the user's name is John Smith. Under account, we can see the login name is jsmith at ccbcmd.edu. And under member of, we can see he is a member of domain users. Now if we wanted to, we could click on add and we could add him to another group such as the administrators group, which we will do later, but by default, all users are added to the domain users group. Now that I've created the user John Smith, now he can log on. Now let's look at some other methods of creating user accounts. Let's look at creating user accounts using the Active Directory Administrative Center. To get to the Active Directory Administrative Center, under Server Manager, we select Tools, and then we select the first item, which says Active Directory Administrative Center. We select CCBCMD, and then we click on Users, and we can see that there's the administrator account, which is created by default. To create a new user, I click on New, followed by User. Then I give the user a first name, such as Adam. Uh, and a last name such as Smith and then I will give him a login name such as A. Smith. Assign the password, confirm the password and then I click on OK and I have created the account for Adam Smith and now he can log in. Another method of adding user accounts is to use the DS Add, which stands for Directory Services Add. Use the DS Add command to create user accounts and this creates user accounts from the command line. So I go to the command line and I use the dsadd command. 
I type DS add space user space close quote CN, which stands for common name, equal the user's name, in this case George Washington, comma, DC for domain component equals CCBCMD, comma, DC for domain component equals dot EDU, close quote. I press the enter key, and now you can see we have successfully created the user account for George Washington. Another way of creating user accounts is using the PowerShell, which is similar to the command prompt, but as you know, the PowerShell has much more advanced functionality than the command prompt. The command we would use would be the new AD user, Active Directory user command. So to get to PowerShell, you click on the blue greater than sign, and then we would type in the command. New AD user is the name of the command. Dash name, in quotes, George Mason, dash SAM account name, in quotes, G Mason. So what this means is we're creating a new Active Directory user. His name is George Mason, and his login name is G Mason. And then if we look at the graphical user interface, there he is. Another method of creating user accounts is using user templates. And what we do is we create a user account and that is the template. And then we, account, we edit the user account properties, such as limiting the login hours or maybe adding the user to a group, such as the administrators group. And then any new user accounts that are created based upon the template will have the same properties, the same login hours and the same group membership. So let's do it. The first thing we do is we create the template. I right click, I select new, followed by user, and I will give it a name of, in this example, user template. I will give it a login name, which is really not that important because we're never really going to log in as this user, followed by next, give them a password, confirm the password, click on next, click on finish, and you can see we have now created the template. Then I assign properties to that template. I right click, under properties, I click on login hours. And I limit this user so he can only log in from 6 a.m. to midnight, and he can't log in from midnight till 6 a.m., followed by OK. Then I go to Member of, and I add him to a group. I will click on Add, followed by Advanced, followed by Find Now, and I will add him to the Administrators group. I click on OK, followed by OK, and now you can see that this user account has been added to the Administrators group. So now what I do is I create a new user based upon the template, and that new user will have the same properties, the same time restrictions, and the same group membership. So I select the template, and to create a new user, I right-click and select Copy. Now this might be confusing here. I think what might be more clear is it, it doesn't just mean copy. What it means is create new user account and copy of the characteristics of the currently highlighted account. So I click on copy and I type in a first name such as Jane and a last name such as Austin and I assign a login name such as J Austin. I then assign a password and I confirm the password followed by next and I click on finish. Now if I look at this user's properties, I will see that under login hours, she has the same login hours which were assigned to the user template account. And if I look at member of, I can see that she is a member of the administrators group. So when you create a user template, you create a user account, which is the template, and then you edit the account properties, such as limiting the login hours or adding somebody to the administrators group, and then the new user accounts, based upon the template, will have the same properties that you assigned to the template. You can also use batch files to create user accounts. A batch file is a single file which contains several command line commands. Using batch files to create user accounts will be covered in Chapter 15. So what we have looked at is five different methods of creating user accounts using Active Directory users and computers, or using the Active Directory Administrative Center, 
from the command line using the ds command, using PowerShell using the new Active Directory user command, or using templates. And this concludes part one.